we have a tendency not to start things until we're confident, until we feel comfortable, until we feel confident and we feel ready. So to wait, uh, to do other things, you know, and, and in our studies, this generally means studying theory and going back through material, revision, lectures, et cetera, et cetera. And we wait to feel confident and feel ready before we actually do the challenging act. So before we do a question, before we put ourselves out there, um, we don't challenge ourselves and we don't we don't take that risk until we feel ready. So we're very um, we're very attached to that feeling of confidence. Uh, and and there's two things that you know, there's two things in there that I want to draw your attention to. One is our attachment to feeling. Um, you know, way too much. I, I hear comments from students about um, I can't do that yet because I don't feel ready. I don't feel comfortable. I don't feel like I've done my stuff enough. I don't feel, don't feel, don't feel. And, you know, although my, my students, when I talk to them, they will talk about how logical they are and how rational and, you know, they're, they're not very emotional and emotions don't enter into it. When you talk about your studying, pay attention to how much of your studying is based on how you feel. I don't feel motivated today, so I didn't study. I don't. I don't feel like I'm. I'm confident enough to do questions, so I don't. I don't feel like I'm ready. I don't feel like I know my stuff well enough. There's. We're very attached to feeling, right? So one thing I want you to pay close attention to is how um, how your feelings impact your actions. Right. And it you know, practically impacts our study sessions, because if we feel positive and if we feel confident, then we'll do the stuff that we need. And if we don't, then you know, we avoid that, which is dangerous. 